it's about time for our little chickens to move out and some breeding chickens to move in. As always with these little chickens, we want them to grow up big enough so when we put them in the, in the chicken coop they don't get picked on too much. Again, as always, we will be doing it at night when the chickens are a little more docile and blending the flocks is a little easier and less stressful that way. I will have to do a couple of modifications to have our breeding chickens in here. So far, we really haven't been using these milk crates as intended, which is to use them as nest boxes. We're going to put breeding chickens in the Mini Cooper, and we're going to need to collect the eggs. To do that, I just need to cut openings so the chickens can get in them. last thing I need to do to get the Mini Cooper ready is to remove this masonite panel. We put this up originally to help deter a raccoon from getting in there and eating our chickens. We're not entirely sure that that was the access point for the raccoon. And now that we've got the electric fence, we feel pretty confident that we can take this down and have easier access to those nest boxes to collect the eggs. keep the bar here as a preventive measure though. Wendy, tell us what we're doing. We're moving the pullets from the Mini Cooper over to this little wire dog cage. And we're going to put them, it's about five o'clock, and we're gonna put them in the chicken coop. And then we're going to wait until it gets dark, and then we'll take them out and put them on the roost and in the morning they'll wake up and they'll be like oh the, those chickens have always been here mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the idea anyways so rather than doing it at night moving them at night we're gonna move them during the day and then release them into the coop at night yeah yeah 
just so they have a little extra time to kind of see each other. Let's get some chickens. Come your little friends. He's got a weird leg. Yeah, it's it's been hobbling around. I've noticed it in some videos. Oh, almost. Scared him this way. Go that way. Okay. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Oh, you're a pretty chicken. This is a pretty chicken. Relax. Relax. All right. No, don't see him that much. <laughs> Poor little chicken. I just don't want him under there. You're okay. You're okay. You're a squirmy one. You are a squirmy chicken. Wormy. Same thing as with the turkey. Mm. Yeah, it's just... a rooster. It is? Oh, it absolutely, yeah, see. Okay. You can see the, the red there. And the comb. Comb is pretty big. You want to keep him for now and see if he gets big enough to eat? Yeah. Okay, you open the cage. Yeah. We can name him Limpy. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the fence off. Unusual colors. It's like all the chicken colors on some of these. <laughs> okay, we've got a door facing the door. That's good for getting them out. Okay, there's a naked neck, if that's one you wanted. She's all beat up. Yeah, you're a heavy bird. Okay, do you want to take them over two at a time? There's a naked neck right behind you. Right here near the door. Good job. Okay.
You have to trim her feathers too, remember. Clap. Clap. Right. Stop messing with the chicken. <laughs> so are we just gonna bring the uh, the two naked necks and I the might one rooster? Another one. Maybe two. All right, go ahead and grab the scissors out of my pocket. I'll hold, hold the bird. Okay. Let me at least get the fence back. Feathers. Oh, oh just don't hurt yourself trying to get away, bird. <laughs> just in case they can hop out, I'm going to close up the lid. Goats. Come back here. It's okay. It's okay. Not that dramatic. Hey, don't bite me. <laughs> Did you see her bite me? <laughs> Our rooster has some pretty feathers, iridescent. Did I say turkey or did I say rooster? You're a rooster, not a turkey. It's all right. It's all right, Wally. Oh, that's a pretty one. Is this enough? I just like oh, 
that's Sputnik. What's wrong with Sputnik? Sputnik is our fastest the hardest to catch of any chicken usually. We just caught her. I know, it's amazing. I'm just saying, if we have to catch her again, she's going to be the hardest one. That's partly why I named her Sputnik, because she's so fast. You're a pretty chicken. Chicken's big adventure. Scary, I know. It's okay. Oh, Sputnik has something wrong with her butt. Yeah, it looks like she's got a little bit of a prolapsed vent. It might go back in. Is there something you need to do about that or? Uh, I can watch it. Sometimes it goes away after they lay an egg. Enough? Yeah. We've got one, two, three, four, five. It's hard to tell. Five or six. One, two, three, four. I think we've got six in there. one is a little little Mr. Limpy. Mr. Limpy. No. Oh. oh, they're kind of hungry. Maybe we should have given them a little food in that. It was only a couple hours, but still. Found your food. You'll have to learn where your water is from the other chickens. It's outside. I'll leave this in here for you for the time being. You might get thirsty tonight. No. <laughs> 